What's up, comic fam, comic fans? We're gonna try to make this quick. Your boy just got back from vacation, got off a plane. I know you're not trying to hear that. I know you just want those new comics. So we're gonna get into the comics coming out November 16th. And some even came out today from DC. Right after this! Spartans! What is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back! And it's good to be back. I was not going to miss this. I was not going to miss the chance to tell you about the new comics coming out this week. Alright, so let's just go to the pull list. That's where I keep my spec books. And before we do that, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You know, all that, all that jazz. Anyway, first up, we got Star Wars Hidden Empires number one. Hey, it's Star Wars. Star Wars is still hot. Um, it's a number one. It's got a first cameo. Eden Versio. It's got some other stuff in there. Sith killing weapon. You know what? Star Wars. That's why we're on this one. Okay. Next up, we got Wakanda number two. Hey, you guys know the movie just dropped. There's a new villain in Wakanda number two. The Kra. Villain who leads a faction. So, yeah, we threw that up there too. All right. Starring Mbaku. All right. So, you got only two spec books this week for me you got wakanda and you've got hidden empires star wars all right let's get into some of those spotlight books not necessarily spec books but these are books that look like they could be a fun read all right we got murder world avengers number one all right so this uh looks like black widow is going to be in here you've got a news guy who's doing a documentary he's going to sneak in there uh paul pastor He's gonna, you know, this is all from the creative mind of Jim Zub, who I think is a really good writer. All right, here's some of the team there. And obviously our villain is Arcade for Murder World. It looks like our big superhero or superheroine is Black Widow. I'm looking forward to that. You've got a pretty cool one in 25 that people seem to be going Goo Goo Gaga for. And there's a couple of other covers, including a scotty young and you even got an edgar delgado all right so that book looks like it could be fun all right look uh hundreds are killed every year in an elaborate secret tournament run by a sadistic man with nearly limitless resources at his fingertips it's not an urban legend it's not a myth murder world is real check it out all right last but not least here's a little uh indie book from uh vault vault comics does this one and door to door night by night seems like a really cool book it's about a group of uh, traveling salespeople who discover terrible secrets that open their eyes to a world full of real monsters and stuff like that look we'll just read right here it's all-star creators cullen bunn uh sally contrino Cant cantarino excuse me uh, comes the story of a motley crew going to battle against supernatural evil throughout throughout the American South. Okay, this just looks like a fun book. Perfect for fans of The Boys, BPRD, and Proctor Valley Road. All those are actually really good uh, comics. So if they're saying you know it's going to hit some of those notes, I, I I'm in. Let's just continue reading the last, last bit of this. The Heritage Mills sales team travels from town to town knocking on doors. They're the best at what they do, which also means they're the worst. They are broken, each and every one of them, haunted by closets so full of skeletons they're bursting. When they discover a terrible secret behind one fateful door, it opens their eyes to a world full of real monsters hidden in every small town. Nice little horror book here. I'm in. If I can find this book, I'm getting it. Again, that's door to door, night by night. Also, check out Murder World Avengers, Avengers number one. And then, what do we have? We had Wakanda, right? Number two, new villain in there. And then we have a cameo appearance in Star Wars Hidden Empire. Let's get to the rest of the books coming out this week. We're going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. We're starting off with Image Comics, Spoon Orchard for you fans of that series, Sorrentino working on that and Jeff Lemire excellent duo what else we got uh, deadly class you got gunslinger spawn you got a hardcover of die fairyland is coming back 
All right, Scotty Young doing that. I hate this place. If you haven't been seeing their B covers, they're pretty funny. Uh, Junkyard Joe comes in with issue number two. I've heard that's really good. Philadelphia, I've been digging. They got the deluxe edition hardcover. Chroma number one. It's a new number one from Image. New number ones from Image. Uh, usually worth a shot, especially when they have multiple covers. Usually means they're putting a little push behind that. Nita Hawes Nightmare Blog number 10. Really good series. I have to catch up on that one though. I've fallen behind on that. You got your Walking Dead in color. Go check it out. Boom! Here comes the boom. Ready or not, we're going to go through this. You got a Something is Killing the Children number 25. Check out this dope Jenny Frizen cover. I need that. I want that. All right. Uh, let's see if I can order it. Boom. I'll do that. Then I should just be able to go. Ooh, give me that cover. Double up. Ooh, double up. Ooh, ooh. All right. Let's continue on. Like I said, we're going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. All right, we're at Dark Horse. What's up, Dark Horse? Cyberpunk 27, 2077, you have my word. Number 404, four, coming to an end. All right. I've heard pretty good things about that series, so check it out if you're into it, especially if you're into the comic. Why not? Because they also have Overwatch. That's also coming to an end with this this little uh, section, if you will, this little part of the story, this little arc. Uh, IDW, or IDW, where they're starting to do a little bit more adult comics, but you still have things like Sonic the Hedgehog, Star Trek still hanging out there. You have your TMNT, your Autobots, or Transformers are going to be there. True Cult seems like an interesting read. I've read the first two issues. They're already up to issue number four. And uh, let's not leave out Yusaki Ojimbo. All right, DC Comics. If you read uh, Arkham City, the trade's out. If you didn't read it, the trade's out. Batman, One Bad Day, uh, Mr. Freeze. That's supposed to have Mr. Freeze's first uh, female sidekick, Frostbite. You got Spawn and Batman, the classic collection. That's coming out. World's Finest, which I heard is actually pretty good. Black Adam. It's going to go up against uh, Batman, this issue. That's what they're saying. What else you got? Catwoman still happening with the 90s covers. They got 90s covers, so they've been bringing back certain 90s covers. Foils, um, just homages, the whole nine yards. Dark Crisis, Worlds Without a Batman one-shot. That comes out. All right, more Batman. Deceased. War of the Undead Gods, number four of eight. I only read issue one, but I've loved all the deceased um, comics and that whole timeline, that whole universe. Nightwing is supposed to have the first Night uh, Might, yeah, Night Might, which is like Bat Might, but the Night White version, Nightwing version. And uh, yeah, you got your Wonder Woman. We're at Marvel Comics. You got Blade, Vampire Nation. I guess he's kind of the law for the, the vampires in this story. What else? You got Winter Soldier. Apparently new costume design. And he's taking on a new task in this. Some some things I even read said new personality. We'll see. We'll see what's up with that. Demon Days or Demon War is coming out from uh, Mariko. To, no. What am I saying? Peach. Peach Momoko. Ugh. Peach Momoko. Demon Wars. All right. <laughs> keep it. Keep it on. Ghost Rider, Danny Ketch, Marvel Tales. Covers uh, like the first three issues of Ghost Rider from the 90s, which was Danny Ketch. All right, Gold Goblin, Norman Osborn in a goblin suit. There you go, number one. What else you got? Immortal X-Men, Iron Man, or I'm not naming every title. Murder World, Avengers. I'm probably going to check that out. Uh, da -da -da -da. Some She-Hulk, if you guys like it. Spider-Man, number one. Gets a second printing with a red cover, red background instead of a white. Dr. Afro I've been enjoying from Marvel. Definitely worth a read. There you got the Hidden Empire Star Wars that we talked about. All right. And then you got uh, Thunderbolts is on issue four or five. And you got Wakanda number two with that new villain. Dynamite. Do-do-do. Dynamite. All right. What do you got? Red Sonia. 
then Jets, lots of heroines, Sheena, lots of covers, always a ton of covers. Look at all those covers. All right, moving on. Yeah, scroll by some time and select toys. And we're at the rest of the comics and graphic novels coming out this week. We'll see if there's anything worth checking out. Abolition Man, that's uh, AI generated. So if you're interested in something like that, check it out. Artificial Intelligence. What else do we got? We're going to keep scrolling and rolling and hoping for the best. Maybe you guys see something in there you like. But this part of the, the video, you can't slow it down. If you're running it at two, two speed, two times speed. Which I know you're doing it. I know. I know you're running it at two times speed. Anyway, <laughs> you could slow it down here just so you can see all the books coming out from a lot of the publishers that we didn't really have a section for in previous world. They just threw them all together right here. Right here, the Far Cry for you guys who like the, the Far Cry video game. Even if you don't, maybe you pick that up and enjoy the adventure island vibe. What else do we have? All right, we're getting towards the end, guys. But hopefully, you know, I help to inform you about making a decision. You got your Lady Death here. What else? I know there's a lot of Lady Death fans out there, even if you don't like to admit it. Where are we at? Where are we at? I guess, I guess like I was saying, guys, I hope, uh, hope you know, you get to see these comics and you make an informed decision, go out, look for what you want, put out an email to your local comic shop, maybe uh, put something on order, right? Put it on a pull list, get out there, support your shops. And most, in most importantly, just enjoy Enjoy, enjoy what you do, enjoy the comics. Don't just get the comic because somebody told you to. Get the comic because you are really interested in it. You know, if you do it that way, you'll never be unhappy. And there's always a comic that will make you happy that will also maybe one day just be a superstar, a grail of some sort. All right, guys, so that's the end. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, uh, comment down below, hit that notification bell. I did that out of order. Whatever. doesn't matter. What matters is the comics coming out this week. So do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to get ready for this week's books. Peace.